Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and happy Women's History Month. Today we are going to be reading Shark Lady. Shark Lady is the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. And this story is written by Jess Keatings and illustrated by Marta Alvarez Mira. Let's see what happens in Shark Lady. It was Saturday, and Eugenie wanted to stay at the aquarium forever. She wanted to smell the damp, salty air and stare at the glittery rainbow of fish. She wanted to keep watching her favorite animals, the sharks. Eugenie pretended she was walking on the bottom of the ocean. What would it be like to swim with her sharks? to breathe underwater with gills of her own? More than anything, she wanted to find out. Can you see her walking along, swimming along down the aquarium? When summer came, Eugenie's mother took her to swim at the beach in Atlantic City. Stuffing sticking gum into her ears to keep the water out, Eugenie dove down, down, down. The salt stung her eyes, but she didn't want to miss a single fish. Constellation of sea stars speckled the pebbled sand. She imagined a silvery fin standing strong on her back, slicing through the ocean current. Have you ever done that? Have you ever pretended you were a shark diving into the water? To others, Sharks were ugly or scary, but Eugenie knew they were beautiful. As she glided through the cool water, she wished everyone could see the sharks through her eyes. But the sharks were only in her mind for now. Eugenie decided to learn everything she could about them. So she dove. This time she dove into books. Whale sharks, nurse sharks, tiger sharks, lemon sharks. Eugenie wanted to know about them all. She also joined the Queens County Aquarium Society as its youngest member. Eugenie's notebook was filled with sharks. They swam in her daydreams and are in the margins of her pages. At home, Eugenie's mother surprised her with an aquarium of her own. A 15-gallon tank was much too small for sharks, but Eugenie saved her allowance to buy guppies, clownfish, and coral red snails. It felt as big as an ocean in her room. Their small apartment became an aquarium, a laboratory, and a sanctuary. As she grew older, many were still telling Eugenie what to do. Forget those sharks, be a secretary, be a housewife. Eugenie wanted to study zoology, but some of her professors thought women weren't smart enough to be scientists or brave enough to explore the ocean. They said sharks were mindless monsters, but Eugenie knew better. Her dream was as big as a whale shark. So again, Eugenie dove. She plunged into every course she had. Her laboratory became her home. From sunrise to sunset, she studied how fish grow, how they behave, and how they were put together both inside and out. Despite all the people who didn't believe in her, Eugenie became one of the smartest students in her field. Even after she earned her degree, many still doubted her. But Eugenie's work had just begun. Eager to make discoveries of her own, Eugenie finally dove into the open ocean. In the Red Sea, Eugenie collected hundreds of fish, including three brand new species that had never been discovered before. 
Let me see if I can say these ones. These are the three fish she discovered. The red sea sand diver, the barred zenia pipefish, and the volcano triple fin. They had never been known before she found them. There they are. On a research mission in exploring the Palau Islands, Eugenie was diving alone when she encountered her first ever wild shark. She wasn't afraid. Instead, she thought it was beautiful. In Isla Mortes, she dispelled the myth that sharks must be moving to stay alive when they swam through dark caves, still and silent, and found full of resting sharks. So before this point, people thought that sharks kept swimming all the time. Even when they were sleeping, they thought they kept on swimming. But she was the first to discover that they actually lay together and they lay still when they sleep. Eugenie's daring heart grew bolder with every dive. Soon she began to call her, oh, <laughs> soon they began to call her Shark Lady. Eugenie had proven she was smart enough to be a scientist and brave enough to explore the oceans. As her courage grew, she began to love and understand her beloved sharks more and more. But she never forgot, many still believed that sharks were mindless killers. Because of their scary reputation, humans were hunting sharks all over the world. Eugenie knew that sharks weren't stupid and they weren't mean. She was determined to prove everyone wrong. Eugenie fished through her mind and devised a brilliant experiment. Could she train a shark the way a person can train a dog? Were sharks much smarter than anyone knew? What do you think? Do you have a guess? Are sharks smart? Let's see. They were. Eugenie was the first scientist in the world to train a shark and even learned they could remember their training for at least two months after. Can you see her training them by having them push a button right over here? Sharks were not mindless killers. Sharks were beautiful. Sharks were smart. They deserved to be studied, protected, and loved. And Eugenie's dream was now a dream come true. The end. And now there's some fun facts at the end. Here, I'll read one for you. So these are shark bites, little shark facts. This says, no toothbrush here. Sharks have impressive teeth arranged in rows around their gums. Their teeth are constantly growing and moving forward in their mouth. Weird. They're constantly growing and moving forward in their mouth like a conveyor belt. Was Eugenie afraid of sharks because of their sharp teeth? No way. She was only bitten once in her life, and the encounter didn't even happen in the water. Once on her way to a school visit with a mounted jaw of shark, oh no, of tiger shark, behind her car seat, Eugenie had to stop quickly at the red light. She reached across the seat to stop the jaws from tumbling forward, and the teeth chomped her arm. So that means she had... She had teeth from a shark that had already died that she was preserving and bringing to a class to show. And so those teeth that weren't a are attached to a shark anymore, they bumped her arm while she was driving. Oh no. So this book is fun. It was full of other fun shark facts and lots of things to learn about Eugenie Clark. I hope you enjoyed this little view into Eugenie Clark, Shark Lady. And I hope you get to learn lots and lots more about sharks today. Have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.